Ah, I'm going to that out. Beauty. <laughs> Secrets. Never say never. Let's get you together. She's spelled on drag 101. The Rainbow Series. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I present to you the Rainbow Drag Series. Mama! Mama! We have just dawned upon RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11 and I love drag and you guys love drag and I think drag is just an art form to be celebrated among the millions here on YouTube. I love drag and here we are with an orange fantasy tangerine dream look. You guys just saw my tutorial where I did red. She is ruby, she is red, she is latex, she is dominatrix and here we are serving up orange for you. I'm over here sporting a beautiful smoky eye with a glitter cut crease, top and bottom lashes, full cake face, and inspired by the color orange. Her name is... Olga, Olivia. Olga! <laughs> Olga, Olga, Olivia. Uh... We'll go with Olivia. This is orange. Olivia. <laughs> what? Olivia. That's ugly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if your name is Olivier. <laughs> Take that back. Leave a name. Ornacia. That's you. <laughs> Ornacia. Olive. Ornacia is because Olive. Because Marshawn told me. <laughs> Olive is green. Ornacia. Remember you know that? Yes, she's the wig cap right here, the wig head. <laughs> Ornacia, what is you doing? Ornacia! Ornacia looks like the kid from Toy Story with this buzz head cut off. She needs a little spider legs. Anyways, I hope you guys love this look. I love it so much. Shout out to Angel for the hair, pay for the outfit. And yours truly for the makeup. If you guys wanna see how I do this beautiful beat face look, don't forget to subscribe and let's just jump right into the video. All right, you guys, so I have just prepped my brows. If you guys haven't seen my brow cover video, definitely check it out. I do think I'm getting better and better at it, but I do want to mention beforehand, I noticed that my hairs are starting to get trained. You know how, you know, if you guys have hair, I don't know. You train your part, you can kind of like sort of train your brows too. So I think my brows are getting used to the upward motion from gluing it so much. So this brow cover was actually pretty quick. So for skin prep, I do believe in a blank canvas. I have been taking care of my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and take the NARS Pore and Shine Primer that I used on Naomi Campbell. Ever since I used it on her and was playing with it that, that same week before doing her makeup, I've been loving it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on my nose area and on my cheeks because you can see instantly it's just starting to mattify my face. I'm just gonna rub this in with my fingers and be done. You can even see it on my hand. My, my hand is very skin-like and matte. Well, it is skin, but. Also, I'm gonna apply a little bit of Tatcha eye cream. Oh, can't waste it. I think if you're gonna wear a lot of makeup, especially highlight and contour, you know, for the kids out there, listen to me. Take care of your skin. Skin prep and also skincare at night is very important. So we can look like this forever. So I think I'm gonna do this with pretty much all my drag tutorials, this whole powder prep thing, just to fill in my pores, just to make sure and bulletproof it. I'm gonna go ahead and take some loose powder and apply it to my cheeks and my nose. All right, now for the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Cryolon TV paint stick. I don't know if you guys saw my I Need Surgery video. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. I do need surgery. If you guys wanna find out what that surgery is, you gotta watch that video. But I did mention that my color in the Cryolon paint stick discontinued. FS24, the world record egg shade. That was what I used. And I'm so sad that I wasted that whole foundation on that video. But anyways, I am now in the color FS27. It's not that bad of, bad of a match. I think it's actually less orange and better for my skin color, but I actually really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the cheeks. And then I'm gonna take a lighter color FS29 and go over my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and go under the eye. Now before we contour, I notice I get a little bit makeup happy and I do my contour, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend this first and then apply my contour shade, my cream contour shades. I do wanna say if you guys are dry, do not do that powder step because your skin's gonna suffocate because my face can handle a lot of makeup, you know, that pre-powder pore filling effect. In the beginning, if you're dry, don't do that. Just stick to your liquids and treat your skin nicely. <laughs> 
All right, guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm gonna go ahead and take V16, V for Vivacious, and start to cream contour right here. It's the perfect shade for contour. And I'm gonna go really high today with my contouring. Really high, very Alaska with the makeup today. Of course, go up here with the chin and the jaw. And don't forget to go down. See that? Hmm. This is very Alexis Stone, and I am giving credit because this is her technique. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this around the forehead. And go up. Cool. And you notice how, if you guys look, I didn't really bring my concealer up because I'm gonna save that for the liquid concealer. Ooh, looks like Route 66. My nose. So next we're gonna blend the contour first on the outside of the face. And I am using the Real Technique sponge because this is something that works really fast and was highly recommended from my girlfriend Plastique from our collab. Speaking of Plastique, congrats girl on season 11. Who are your favorites? I am so excited for RuPaul's Drag Race. What did you guys think of the first episode? Same. <laughs> trust me, it's gonna look good. Y'all gotta trust me on this, okay? Just gonna blend the nose and blend up to the crease. Today my makeup is inspired by Matthew Anderson, who used to do RuPaul's makeup. Doesn't do RuPaul's makeup anymore. Don't know what happened. But I did see a video of Matthew Anderson, who is immensely talented, who did makeup on Jane St. James. And James St. James has a little series. I had the opportunity to be on it myself, but I just remember just watching Matthew Anderson explain the techniques that he does on RuPaul on James St. James and like this was a part of it like this very cream contour step and I really really admired his technique and his application so and RuPaul always looks beautiful. All right y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and take this concealer brush right here in the same contour shade V16 and it's like that flat concealer synthetic brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and reinforce my contour right here because I just wanna be snatched. I should have done this before. You know what I will say about drag? Like, drag was all about harsh lines, the Neapolitan ice cream on the face. But I think because the popularity of social media and RuPaul's Drag Race, everything is starting to look more HD, that we are starting to blend lines. Because originally, you know, with Drag Race, with, like, pageants and things and performances, you would paint those harsh lines so people in the back motherfucking row can see your makeup. But now, it's just, like you know, for social media, not now, but but for most people that are getting into drag, I'm finding it for social media that the, the lines between beauty makeup and drag makeup are blurred, especially on, you know, Drag Race. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take my Shape Tape Light Medium, and I'm gonna go ahead and then reinforce these highlights and kind of cut the contours. This step right here is very important because this helps in you um, snatching your nose. Now take your beauty blender and just blend these out very gently. Oops, lost some right there. All right, I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I pretty much sketched out my brows. I just wanted to do it off camera because, you know, they be changing every single day on time. So um, before I set everything, I'm gonna go ahead, I forgot this step, is to just bring the contour from the beginning of this brow right here because this is importante. You see that? That's what we call anatomy, honey. And blending this is called physiology. <laughs> I went to school, honey. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I just noticed this because I got two bananas, but I didn't really mean a banana light, okay? And the sticker is from Nene, so it must be like not a knockoff. So I guess if you guys buy it, just be careful that they come with a banana regular luxury and a banana light luxury. So either way, I'm going to put so much makeup on. I'm going to go ahead and put this into my... Hello? Oh, she want to play games. <laughs> she thinks she may not lose no one. <laughs> Moving on, just pouring this into my airspine cap. I do use a lot of it. I'm gonna go ahead and immediately set under the eye. I hope this kind of powder don't do me wrong, cause I thought this was a banana. Lately I've been using banana, just a 
That is disgusting. I've been using banana under the eyes and air spun everywhere else just because it's a nice HD effect. Let me tell y'all, when it comes to creams and harsh lines, I think all the harsh lines can stay within your creams and then you can blend things out with the powder seamlessly. But what you wanna do is make sure that the definition shines through. So what I'll do with the powder, there's an art to setting powder. I will go ahead and bake my light areas with this just because it's like the first contact. And then the rest of the face, I will take air spun and just go over everything. Just a little behind the scenes secret. I did shoot my yellow um, drag one before, but you know, I want to upload these in the order of the rainbow, Roy G. Biv. And I noticed my brows today look more draggy than I did in the yellow because my yellow brows, I showed my friend Ronnie and he was so shocked because the shape of it look just like my real brows. And it doesn't look like I, I didn't even cover them at all. But stay tuned for that, it's coming up. So excited. My eye is watering like a bitch, oh my god. All right guys, so now that you look at the Pillsbury ho boy, okay, biking, biking, biking. For the eye makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it pretty soft and gentle. I want it to be like a more orangey, fishy drag. I wanna be inspired by like RuPaul, Matthew Anderson, very glamour, pretty. Nothing too, too harsh, because I feel like my red one was very, very harsh, and I realized after doing the red one that she looked like she was inspired by orange, so we're just gonna go really, really soft and just blown out in orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this orange here by Sugar Pill called Flame Point. Love Sugar Pill's shadows. If you guys are new to YouTube or want beautiful shadows that come really, really large, Sugar Pill is the... And this is one of my favorite brushes, Kim Kardashian. Honey, this brush is sending me 10 because I love this brush so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this flame point and apply it right over where the contour shade was that I applied on earlier. Oh, see how pigmented? There's so much richness in these shades. Literally matches my backdrop. And this brush, Kim, I need 10 of these. This brush is Fiercely made. So gorgeous. I'm gonna kind of just buff this up into the brow ever so gently. And I wanna make this out as blown out as I can. I am pulling this orange back and just blending it. We're gonna go ahead and set the orange and then go ahead and define the crease in a little bit. This tutorial right here reminds me of Monet Exchange's Rihanna inspired, Met like this is me inspired by Monet inspired by Rihanna from the Met Ball. But I remember Monet did like a full blown red and I kind of wanted to do like a full blown orange moment because that just looks so pretty. She had no brows with it, but I also want to keep my brows like really, really light as well. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take a dark shade, any dark burgundy shade. This one is I'm Into It from MAC and this is currently sold at MAC, so it's not limited. I just love it so much, I have it in my holiday palette, and I just remember using this at work. This shade is a da bomb. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it on a small Morphe M433 brush and define the crease. Let me just say, you guys can do this look, especially without gluing down your brows and doing the whole shebang. This would look great on its own. So pulling the eyeshadow will give you that drag, drama, Look, you want to put more pressure where you want the most definition and lightly lift your brush out to kind of develop a beautiful fade. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up kind of into the brow and just continue to blend. I would love to see RuPaul in an orange look like this with her blonde. Mm. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take that Flame Point shadow and that KKW brush again and just continue to blow out the shadow. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Rose Gold Retro Magnificent Metal from Stila. This is so easy if you want to cut your crease. I'm gonna go ahead and take the applicator and just cut the crease like so. So freaking pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful Dose of Colors bronze shade. It's a very, very deep bronze shade. You can tell I love it so much because it is hella busted. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this on a flat brush and blend out, you see the end of it, with this rose gold shade. That way she's not just like blunt. So it's like a beautiful bronze shade and you see, just fading it out there. Ah, oh, so pretty. 
on claw, honey. The shadow is what you want the kids to do to get more money. I love mixing these dark shades, these dark shimmer shades. Beautiful. Gorge mirror. And I think I'm gonna kind of like bring this in almost halfway to kind of like add some of that dimension so the rose gold isn't so flat. You see how pretty is that dimension? Now for liner, I think I'm gonna keep it really, really simple and just simply line the eyes. Hmm, should I? Maybe, should I? Mm, let me do it. I was in a minute. So for liner, I'm gonna go ahead and take feline pencil and smudge this along the lash line. It's been a while since I've done pencil. But if you're in a pinch and you're in a rush, go ahead and use that liquid. So next you're gonna take Bulletproof on a flat kind of like stiff brush. Guys, this is Bulletproof, y'all. And it's the blackest shadow known to man. We're gonna go ahead and take this and just smudge the feline and create this smoky liner effect. Next, we're gonna just take some wispy drag lashes and apply them on the eye. Don't forget to curl your lashes up to Jesus. I've been liking this mascara. This is the NARS mascara, the red one. Don't know what she's called, but she red. All right, so when you're placing your lashes on, you wanna place them like, like this. <laughs> so they're kind of like on its back. They're like leaning back. Because the last thing you want is your lashes to not be seen. And literally, I've been watching all the queens on the VH1. They love pushing their lashes back. Wow. Uh-uh, she being difficult. She being real difficult. So if she ain't leaning back like you won't, take some glue, right? <gasps> no! And we're gonna move on to the face. All right, so for my brows, I wanna go a little bit more blonde, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this neutral shade. It looks kind of like a blonde uh, color, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my brows. I don't want my brows to be too cray-cray. All right, guys, it's coming to form. I'm gonna go ahead and take Taco by Sugar Pill and just set my eyebrow crease. I just decided to cut the crease a little bit and continue to just blend the shadow. Just gonna take some flame point and just blend between the white and the crease. I'm taking Suburbia right here, this shade, and it is blending it like a dream. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take I'm Into It, that dark brown shade, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start this pretty, I've been doing this on my normal makeup, but then again, I'm a drag queen. I'm gonna go ahead and take I'm Into It and kind of create a bigger lower lash line, leaving like a small glap, glap, uh, gap on the inner tear duct. So now that I know where I want my lower lash lines to be, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Benefit pen, and, ooh, there's so much fallout, chow, chow. They would've sent me home the first episode. So now that I know where I want it to go, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and just sketch it up. Now for the bottom lash line, you wanna make sure that this connects to this outer business down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my feline and create a smoky, lower outer lash line. I'm gonna take that same brush that I used to smudge my um, liner on top and smudge the bottom. So next for the inner corner, you see this like little gap right here? I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here and apply some platinum pigment right there. Shablam. All right, now moving on to the face, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Pro Finish powder that's, just, that's discontinued. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, can you tell? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this powder. Bitch, why you gotta be discontinued? I'm gonna take her and on my Beauty Blender, it's very similar to Studio Fix Powder by MAC, but I just like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just bake with the Beauty Blender the highest points of the face. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Studio Fix Powder in C6 and just go ahead all over and pat this in. This is one of my favorite brushes. This is the Morphe E52. Use my discount code because they come much fluffier, much more high quality. They come actually with a free James Charles palette. Yeah, P-Star, the code. You're gonna take this and just pat it in and 
if you use my code, it just like applies more seamlessly, much better, and you win a free trip to Hawaii. I'm not joking. Next, I'm gonna, ooh, you wanna snatch your face to the ground, honey. Yep, matches the backdrop orange. <laughs> just wanna chisel this. This brush I love, and this one is not by Morphe. This is Urban Decay. This is the F102 Large Powder, and I love it because it just fits right here. I like how light my brows are, so cute. Don't forget the forehead and the double chin. Y'all know the drill. See, when I do my drag brows, I gotta be real extra careful because I'd be like wiping my brows off at this part because I forget how high I draw these bitches. But have fun, this is drag, guys. We're on season 11. I'm so happy to get to do this drag series for you. Next is yellow. This low-key, high-key looks just like my backdrop. This, I will say, is my newest, most favoriteest blush ever. This is NARS Taos. Oh my gosh, my friend TW, who did a brow video with me, was like, oh, you should use this blush. And oh my gosh, I couldn't wait to show you guys. I just love it so much, even for a drag face. Y'all know, it's my favorite part. Jaclyn Hill be doing this too. I need to put Jaclyn Hill in drag. Real drag. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And yes, if you're watching and you're saying, holy shit, that's so much powder, you're right. Y'all just jealous. Sometimes I'd be looking at my fucking station like, where the hell did she go? This brush, JD Wadey, send me more, please. JD Wadey. And send your boyfriend, too. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. This is a Dark Deep, and it is orange, and we're just gonna snatch the nose until you can't breathe. Top three noses for me would be Miss Fame. Who else has a snatch nose? Oh, Pearl has a snatch nose. Okay, okay, who is she? Ooh, I never tried this, but I think it's gonna look cute. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a little bit of taco, a small little brush, and do the Roxy. Roxy be drawing an exclamation point on her nose. Oh my God. <laughs> What's next? What am I forgetting? Let's do bottom lashes. For me, since, since I've been doing like drag makeup for a long time, like even back, back, back then, I was using a whole strip lash for my bottom lashes. And I think that's just been a thing that I've done. I do like the look of the individual ones, but they'll just take too so long. Time to dust off. Now for my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take cherry and line my lips. All right, guys, now for the lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and take Pat McGrath, Mother Pat McGrath. Love her lipstick so much. This one is called Obsessed, and it's a beautiful. Oh, uh, look how pigmented. I'm obsessed. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just blending the colors into the lip. For the orange lipstick, I was gonna use the Kylie one. I couldn't find it, and um, Jordan's also staying with me for now. Watching all the drag queens, this seems to be their holy grail spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray because you know they wanna last all night. I'm gonna go ahead and change, put on my wig, and I'll be right back with the finished look. What's different about this video is I'm gonna show you how to put everything on. So I have my body suit like over the crotch and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and take my breastplate, put it on. It's literally my skin tone, you guys. And then I will hoist. Ooh. This up, help me. Ow, don't touch my face. I am a lady. This is like a dog collar. Ooh, guys, now if you want your skin to look hella smooth, this Charlotte Tilbury powder, mm mm, looks so good. Uh, instant smooth. It is more expensive, but it's great for any special event y'all got going on. Here is my wig. I got this literally on Amazon. I will link it down below. This is gonna be me in a second. Woo! Oh my God. I look like I'm from Texas. That's funny because the hairstylist that did this is from Texas. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna fin do some finishing touches and I'll, I'll for real be back for the finished look. All right guys, this is the finished look. We have come together, okay? This hair, let me tell you, I am in love. This outfit, I am in love. And this makeup, I am in love. I love this look so much. Orange just gives me gas. <laughs> I also 
happy by myself laugh all day. Orange, I just love oranges. <laughs> If you guys love this look as much as I do, I would love to see you guys recreate this orange look or something along the lines of orange using the hashtag star search star with three R's. Here are some looks that I saw under the hashtag inspired by last week's video red. So uh, I love seeing your guys' looks. Please follow me on social media. Because of YouTube and the copyright strikes that's been happening, I cannot perform here on the land of YouTube. However, I can on Instagram. So if you guys want to see me lip sync for my life, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. I'm very active on Snapchat. Twitter I love. Facebook, if y'all still love the Facebook because Facebook owns the Instagram, follow me on there too. And I would love to see you guys and connect with you guys. And I love you guys so much. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.